is the first of three uh, of what is going to be an exciting night. I really wouldn't mess with her, though. She is, in fact, an ex-amateur boxer and personal trainer uh, who now dedicates her time to aiding other people in their fitness. She's heavily involved in, of course, helping sisters in the Muslim community, too. Just how does she combine her passion with such modesty? Well, uh, Sophia Noreen, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Living the Life. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. It's a pleasure. I think the first question there is, we'll continue it. Uh, how do you combine your passion for this sport and the passion for fitness with your evident modesty? Um, I think you don't, you, you can be modest and still train. Um, there's a lot of like, you know, you go on social networks and you see a lot of girls like, you know, wearing next to nothing. I just wanted to promote something that you could still train and still carry yourself in a in a respectful manner um, and still uh, get the gains that you want really without having a lot of uh, people look at you while you're doing it in respect though saying that as a female woman you will you will get looked at you will get stared at but it's just trying to block that out and just trying to in the fitness industry it's quite interesting um, in the boxing in industry in itself, like you, when you're sparring with lads, you have to earn their respect. It's not as easy as just walking into an amateur boxing gym full of men and boys and, you know, them trying to look at you as a, as a woman, as a fragile thing. But it's not, you know, over the years of, that I've been boxing, um, I've not had to dress in a certain way. I could wear what I want um, in a respectful manner and still prove a point to lads. And I think... Um, that's when you sort of like earn your respect where you you know you sink your teeth into something and you believe in it so much that it becomes your life and you know it is very addictive uh, and i don't think women uh, asian women or any women see boxing as something that they would take because of the stigma maybe attached to it it's a very male dominated sport isn't it so it is. I mean, we, we were very excited about you coming on because we, we of course, have seen Roxana Began previously here on Living the Life and some other very high-profile sportsmen and women. Uh, but with respect, and I don't mean this in a patronising way, you're not that level just yet, but mm -hmm. you are, of course, uh, an expert in what you're doing. Yeah. And I think it's hard, isn't it, both for young men and women to perhaps find suitable role models and inspirations within sport at, at, at kind of an amateur level, right? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of... Uh hard you know they said that you know it takes the hard work and dedication and sweat blood and tears and it really does i might not be at the level that i wanted to be at um, when i gave it up but um it's something that i wanted to still be able to do and be quite fit doing it you get a lot of injuries doing that kind of sport but i wanted to carry it on because boxing is not just hitting people it's not about that it's about discipline it's a good way of channeling anger um just finding you know it's very good to help you keep patient as well so if, just say you're an angry person you want to go into the gym you hit a few bags you come back out um you feel a lot better within yourself so and of course it's your bread and butter day today isn't it now your personal training yeah. what typical um individuals are you seeing if you wouldn't mind sharing with us uh, uh, approach you is it older women is it younger women what what, what are you typically finding at the um, moment i'm getting quite a few um mature ladies that want to do it um they're very uh enthusiastic about how to do it they're very intrigued about how a small person like myself was ever in that kind of field um but you get a lot of uh, younger girls coming in just querying about it just curious about it they're very scared of being hit mm -hmm. um uh, and i have to explain to them that you don't get hit it's like a small little step you know every technique you learn everything you learn you combine it into one and then take it in the ring it's not just jump in the ring and i'll leave you to it sort of thing but it's 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 a small step and it is you know it's quite difficult in in respect of getting women into boxing they have to see it to believe it and i believe that's where social network is really good because i put my pictures on instagram videos on facebook you know and they see and they're very they they want to ask me more questions about it in in regards to diet in how often i train um things like that so yeah well, we've certainly got more questions for you. I like the concept, though. You're saying it's uh, good for anger. Uh, believe you me, there's a few people I could get in the ring with 